On Saturday in Jamestown, members from the Community Alliance for Suicide Prevention and survivors of those who have lost loved ones to suicide gathered at St. Luke's Episcopal Church for a day of remembrance. Survivor Day is the one day a year when people affected by suicide loss gather around the world and events in their local communities. Victoria Patty, suicide prevention and awareness educator, says thanks to advocates like Tina Glenn, who has started a peer support group called Parents of Angels at the Mental Health Association. People who are suffering with the loss of a loved one are able to recover together in an atmosphere of empathy. We really want to spread the word about Tina's group and get people interested in that. Um, and you could, you could call MAJ for more information if anybody's interested in attending that group. You can reach the Mental Health Association of Chautauqua County at 661-9044. Patty says in the last 10 years, the statistics of suicide losses in the county are going up. So locally, um, you know, we are trying to bring more awareness to the issue. And since 2011, when the Community Alliance for Suicide Prevention um, had started, um, we realized as a community group that there was a lot of talk about suicide. Um, nationally, there was a lot of talk about suicide and the stigma associated with it. And we thought, you know, we have all these, these groups for um, substance abuse prevention or cancer awareness. Um, and we really thought that we really needed one for suicide specifically. In Chautauqua County, the Community Alliance for Suicide Prevention provides trainings and other services, says Patty. The Alliance is able to, um, on a local level, um, provide trainings to community members to recognize warning signs of suicide, how to talk with somebody who they think is thinking of suicide and from a non-clinical standpoint so anybody can take trainings to learn how to speak with someone about thoughts of suicide and then the really great thing about those is that it's it's a really great way to learn about resources so what to do now this person that I'm with is thinking of suicide where can I hook them up with resources the crisis hotline number the national hotline number um, local support groups um, and you learn all of those things so it really creates an awareness about what is here, what is involved, um, you know, who can help, who can support, and you don't have to do it alone. I am Tiffany Betts for WNY News Now, where coverage comes first.